Welcome to another Field of Glory 2 battle. This is part of the Chaos Tourney organized by Carvan of the Saluting Forums. So, time and geographic filter is turned off. Potluck armies, I've rolled Assyrian versus my opponent. Challenge 1's Pontic. I've got a pretty open field. Some rough here and a hill here. Otherwise, pretty flat. So, Pontic army can muster a good light infantry wing and a decent amount of light horse as well, up to six units. For non light infantry, there are mediums, irregulars, Thriofroi, and Thracians, and a single unit of the superior Falksmen. So, a pretty strong medium line. For heavies, imitation legionaries, and some more bands. Impact foot, which we have nothing that can really counter in melee. Cavalry, armored lancers, and cataphracts, which are both dangerous to us because lance is actually up 50 against uh, chariots, which are our heaviest. So, yeah, we're going to have to find some way to counter all those hard hitting impact foot offensive spears and lancers. For one thing, I think we can take advantage of this rough ground. So our man can just stand in it and shoot. The chariots can zone of control lock the infantry at least, if not the cataphracts or lancers, so we might want to get more of them. I think raw mediums can hold the forest. The guard foot are superior, so we'll bring them along, even though they're kind of spendy. As well as the heavy foot. They're all swordsman types, so they need to survive impact somehow. But if they do, they should be okay. I'm going to be ready to have heavy chariots zone out an infantry line. Grab some light cavalry, I might need them. The question is, do I want to spend the rest of my points on lights or cavalry? I suppose I could just go for more mainline infantry as well. Maybe I'll do that because they're pretty affordable. And just hope that I can swamp him with my numbers. Actually, there. Didn't get many skirmishers because we have integrated bow in all of our non light infantry units just about, so they can just shoot back as needed. Okay, onward. All right, let's see that deployment. What are we facing? Offensive spears and impact foot and a large cavalry wing. The cavalry I'm not that worried about, the infantry I am. All of my infantry are swordsmen, and so it will either be at a melee disadvantage against the Duryophoroi or an impact disadvantage against the legionaries. though we at least have some light infantry to work with. Mostly light spear cavalry, but some lancers and cataphracts as well. The lancers and cataphracts are problematic uh, because they can tear up my chariots, which otherwise are going to be very useful for zone of control locks. I think 
this placement for our chariots is fairly good though. This medium foot will occupy the rough, and then our own Assyrian style cavalry can contribute their 50% bows. So basically we're going to try to fight a defensive action, repel his skirmishers with their own archery, and zone of control lock the legionaries with our chariots, and hopefully just defeat the Furiofuro by outnumbering and outflanking them. Next turn. All right, straightforward so far. This cataphracts are going to be a huge problem. Looking at, I think this will show it, impact plus 150 versus any except lancers. Yeah. And what do these say? Plus 100 versus any mounted. Yep. So. We're going to be at quite the disadvantage on impact should the cataphracts make it that close. Although I wonder, he might need to spread them this way because he's got not very heavy cavalry opposing heavy infantry, which could be tough for his army. Otherwise, I don't believe we need to move. Next turn. Yes, hello. Okay. And riddle these guys with the arrows now. He'll just pull them back, but we'll prevent disruptions in our own line. gosh. So annoying. Okay. Peace and quiet? Maybe. Too bad. I was hoping for more than that. We might have to take another round of fire then. I'll shift another... Do I? Eh. I think this is a fine setup, and we'll just see how it goes. Next turn. It's opting to stand and fire. Well, let's keep slaying his lights, and then if he decides to defend, we'll figure out an attack. But we don't need to do that yet. General up on the unit that's being concentrated on. Good. Right. 
So once these guys bugger off, we'll reform and then probably push forward to here-ish and see if he'll come down off the hill. Not, we'll have to get creative. Next turn. Please die. Great. So, and then we'll take cover in the marsh. Right, so now we've got to figure out how to attack, since clearly Challenge 1 will not be attacking me. I think the key will be to realign. And push for this flank and try to envelop the hill before attacking head on. And then next turn we can shuffle further into position and the turn after that begin a general advance. Next turn. Some of these fleeing skirmishers are probably going to rally, but that's okay. Very good. Let's keep lining up for an assault. push? I think we do. All right, no need to be subtle then. So we'll move to pinning range and then try to work around his open right flank. Assuming it's open. I suppose there could be something in there, but I don't think so. Next turn. Stretching the line a bit, but that's no big deal. We're going to push, but we're also going to stay near our non-lights. This is kind of foolish in the face of the cataphracts, but hopefully the sheer number of infantry I can bring to bear will make up for it. This is going to be a bit thin as well in the face of cavalry, but so it goes. Next turn. It's more long range archery, we don't care about that. Uh, 
Okay. Anyone home? No. Good. Then we'll keep climbing. Right. Um, next up, we can start whittling down these skirmishers. We'll still have enough ammo left over to engage in some harassment. Very good. See what kind of reaction we get to this harassment. So a superior and ours we have one superior and one average. Again, our chariots won't do much on impact against Lancers. How bad is it? Plus 100 versus any mounted, so it's a minus 100 impact, unfortunately. So that'll be the most dangerous phase, most likely. Okay, so now we'll engage the cavalry here and just kind of stand here, try to work our way around. Next turn. Good, bounced them. Should bounce them as well. Yep. <laughs> Can't do that forever. Okay. So in that case, we can, what? Prevent the Lancers from charging. They keep putting the pressure on the Armored Cavalry. In fact, it might actually be worth firing at half arc. No, I don't think we can break them. Could break them, but I don't think it would actually be wise to do so. Good, nobody's home. Keep up our push. This might actually be worth it. It does allow him to charge down slope at us, which is unfortunate, but I think it's good to get rid of his missile support.
Okay. Cavalry wings a bit, bit undesirable how this is going, but it could be worse. Good. Need to get out of this forest soon. I don't like to fire at long range, but perhaps... No, I, I will save my arrows until they're closer. Right, that's the situation. Next turn. Let's see what kind of response we get to our move forward. All right, we're pinned in here, that's too bad. Good bounce. Alright, he broke that zone of control successfully, but we lucked out on impact and bounced him again. Very good. Firm, what a shame. Well, in the meantime, resume the lock. Let's see if we can't... Oh. Well, that's too bad. Good. Shut them off, that's fine. Ouch, too bad. Impact is bad, but melee is good for the guard foot, so... Oh, maybe I should toss a volley their way. Waste of arrows. It's a good start, but things will get dangerous now for our medium foot swords and melee. Next turn. Oh no. All right, we're going to have to try to rush to their rescue then.
Get in. Join in. Well, get ready to turn and fight, and we'll get the raw units behind to support. And since the cavalry seems content to leave, then we will send our units to the center battle. This is not working out too smoothly over here, though. Right. In the meantime... Hold firm again, and now we're low on arrows. That's better. Okay. Seems he doesn't want to move, but he's going to have to move soon. Spread out to the left a bit more. Dare him to move down. He doesn't. Next turn we try and rain more arrows down this line. Impact is bad, melee is good, so we'll melee. We still have arrows, should we use them or charge? Let's try the charge. Nope. We'll save our last volley for close range next turn. This is messy, but the main infantry clash is doing fairly well. Next turn. Oh, interesting. I wonder why they fell back instead of charging. All right. Bounce them with the general bonus. This unit's disrupted. Fortunately, yeah, they're going to get ridden down. Yep, it's a massacre. Let's lock this unit in. Get ready to flank, and in fact, we'll move to try to rescue this unit. It's a long shot, but I don't want to move and charge in the flank gear because this unit's going to break soon, and this is raw medium foot. It's not likely to survive the cohesion check. So go in to rescue this unit with impact. Held firm to add. Hmm. Okay. Low on arrows. In that case, let's charge for impact. Perfect. Join the fun. Good. Wheel and 
fire. Who do we want to try to frag? Hmm. Oh, all right, what about you? Frag? No. All right. Um, join in then. This is a little unfortunate. This unit is doomed, but you know it's average Assyrian style cavalry. Can't possibly cost any more than this Iranian armored cavalry. Probably a bit less. Then you throw in 80 points of Nomad light horse archers just sitting here shooting at them, and it's well worth it. Right. So we'll lose at least two more infantry units, but maybe three, depending on how this goes. Oof. Ah, not bad. Now he'll have to push still closer with disrupted infantry, or else get flanked. Uh, yeah, overall, it's going well. Next turn. Oh, nice rally. <laughs> yeah, they're doomed. Oh, oh no! Do we hold firm? No. Oh no, absolutely not. Alright, so the right flank is definitely a lost cause then. Just in time, thank you. Alright, things have evened out then. This flank or this flank? Ah, do what we can. next turn. Perfect. Any cohesion failures? No, that's too bad. All right. Turn and face. And begin the arrow storm, I suppose. Get that flank and unlock our swordsman POA. Good. This unit is fairly close to auto-breaking, actually. Let's general up here on the raw unit, because they're going to need the help. Oh, perfect. Even better. They'll auto break at 252 men, so we can inflict 20 casualties, we'll be fine. Here's a bright spot on the right flank, at least.
We do need to speed things up here though so that our line can get turned around and not just rolled up. It is going well though. Next turn. Yep, that was kind of bound to happen. Ooh, bounce them? Yes. Oh, very nice. Good. Setting up a flank attack here, I don't think I'll be able to prevent it. Who rallied? Uh, they'll probably get broken by light horse, but we can attempt to flee for the cover of the built up area. Pushing and shooting. Held firm. They'll probably bounce off next turn, and that is fine with me. Well, too bad about the flank, but we'll be able to take out this unit next, pretty much no matter what. Good. Got the auto break. Onward then. See if they break from a charge. Good. Theoretically, that's a win, unless there are rallies, which there could be rallies. Send our greetings. That's it. Barring any rallies, that's a win. Even without rallies, although we will lose this unit, or at least they'll get disrupted or fragged, we can then take out this unit and this unit. So it's looking pretty nice. Getting a thanks for the game, so it looks like no rallies. Here we go. So initially I was planning on fighting this as a defensive battle, but uh, after challenge one, skirmishers suffered heavy losses. He pulled back to a defensive position, which was the right call. Uh, I think sending out skirmishers on their own like that in general is a bad idea because, you know, let's say they do disrupt someone. Well, so what? What are you going to do with that? You know, all skirmishers can do without heavy support is auto break units, which is not really a good use of ammunition. So I think if he was going to advance, he should have advanced. Although, to be honest, I think he shouldn't have advanced at all, uh, because this forest was tough, and these uh, Assyrian-style medium foot are surprisingly good against Triophoro, even though the latter are offensive spearmen, uh, because the 50% bow at long range, I think it is a true 50%, but I think at close range, it acts more like 60%. So you can cause cohesion checks, and even if you don't, the combat strength modifier can skew pretty heavily in favor of these units by the time a melee begins. Which can make up pretty substantially for being down uh, 50 POA in melee for swordsmen versus steady spears. And of course, if you disrupt the Triophoro first, or fight them in a forest, you get 100 swordsmen versus 100 spears. The biggest problem was definitely the cataphracts. Um, all these swordsmen just could not stand up to them. They had a number of units break and run from frontal charges. 
In the end, though, I think I was glad that he used his cataphracts to engage my infantry because it allowed my chariots to, well, flank, but more importantly, kind of barrel headlong into his infantry or his zone of control lock his dangerous impact foot. Granted, imitation legionaries are only average quality, but even average quality impact foot is pretty scary against these sort of light spear units. The chariots do quite badly on impact against lancers, so uh, maybe a better call would have been to attempt to charge my chariots with the cataphracts, um, strip those zone of control locks, and then push them with the impact foot. Finally, these uh, mixed foot units are really effective against cavalry. Um, some charges ended up being pretty dangerous, but other than the cataphracts, my infantry is able to hold out really well against a much more expensive force of cavalry on his left wing. And of course, on his right wing goes a numbers game. I simply have more units, and you know, he could stand on the defensive and get shot at or charge and get flanked, and it was just a number of bad choices. So, I think it was going to be difficult for him to fight this battle effectively after the initial loss of skirmishers because he needed skirmishers to at least either draw fire before the melee to keep his melee line intact or try to force a disruption on them before charging in and hoping for a double drop or something. Uh, in the event, despite some losses on the right, things went pretty smoothly. So this has been another match in the Chaos Tourney. Good game to challenge one, and till next time.